Our focus today is on returning viewers. I are going to be studying the YouTube Studio Analytics. In the coming week, you're going to be getting more breakdowns around the audience tab of the YouTube Analytics to help you get more understanding around how to get more returning viewers, how to get more new viewers, how to get more average view per viewer, how to get more unique viewers. So we're going to be breaking all of that down video after video. I'm going to be linking a couple of videos in the end card and also create a separate playlist for all these videos so that you can really get to understand as it relates to your audience and content. Now to see this analytics, go into your studio, click on the analytics and then you go to your audience tab. Right below your audience tab, you will see this graph. It contains your returning viewers unique viewers, subscribers count, and members count. But what I want us to focus on today is your returning viewers. Now, who are your returning viewers? They are the audience that enjoys your content and comes back to your channel video after video to keep consuming your content. This is actually desirable. You want more people that find your content to actually come back each time you make an upload to watch more. I'm going to be changing this date range to 90 days so that we can see a good picture. Now, this report is from my own channel so i'm kind of putting everything out there for you guys to see the big picture now if you look at the beginning of the last 90 days which was june 8th you'll see that the returning viewers on my channel was 78 this means that people that were coming back to consume more of my content were actually 78 people now i actually want this number to increase on a daily basis or video by video basis so on this side you can see it was 89 here it was 16 uh, here it was 24, uh, here 124, here it was 93, here 76. So the recent data shows that only 34 persons are actually returning to consume more of the content, which is actually really poor. And this is not desirable at all. If the content they are creating for your channel is not able to bring people back to consume more content, then you have the wrong audience. It's possible that the new audiences that are finding your content do not enjoy it and do not want more of it. Some of us may be wondering what happened this area where I had this spike. Well, it happened on the day I posted about Nezeville, how she based the YouTube algorithm probably because I had that on the thumbnail a lot of people came from her channel to watch this particular video so you can see that this video in the YouTube algorithm broken playlist her video actually tops all the other videos this is because she actually shared this content on her channel thank you so much Nezaville but this was actually counterproductive on my channel because if you know Nezavi very well, she is a gist channel. Most people watching her channel are interested in gist, news, and stuff like that. And my ch channel is so much about tools for building influence and revenue on YouTube. It has nothing to do with the action or gist or all of that. So this was actually a wrong fit for my channel. So you will notice that after the spike, none of them returned to watch my content. So I went back to you know where i was before they came in so you can see before the spike it was actually i had 110 returning viewers and after the spike it came back to almost 109 okay so that's where we are as after that so i continued to put out content and towards the middle of august i decided to try out my hands on youtube shorts now see what youtube short did to the channel it gave me a lot of new viewers that were not still returning to consume more content so you can see here i had 848 new viewers here 626 new viewers here 429 new viewers but the returning viewer graph was even going down the more because most of the people that were coming in through youtube shorts were a wrong fit for the channel we had a live stream yesterday if you have not seen the live stream i'm going to be linking it in the end card where i talked about which is more profitable is it short upload or lives actually explained a lot in this particular video and i'm going to be leaving it in the end card so if you have not seen this video it's going to be in the end card don't worry let's continue on this one so you can see that this is actually bringing in the wrong audience that are not subscribing to the channel 
Now, what I want you to think about when it comes to um, wishing for new viewers to find your content is for the right audience to find your content. You may get a spike in your audience graph showing you that new viewers are pumping into your channel but if this new viewers has no relationship or no interest in what your channel is about they will still not contribute in the growth of your channel so you want to look at youtube search terms that are directing people to your channel other videos that your viewers are looking at you want to also check other channels that your viewers are looking at all this information will help you understand if you have the right kind of audience finding your videos. If you don't have the right kind of audience finding your videos, you're going to have a graph that looks like this, which means that the new viewers that are finding your videos are not coming back. They are not returning to consume more content. And that is recipe for disaster. We're going to be breaking down how to get more new viewers how to get more average view per viewer, how to increase your unique viewers, and so much more. And I, like I said before, I'm going to be creating a playlist specifically to address this. But you also need to understand each video format and how they impact your returning viewers. And to understand this better, you need to watch the video that appears just here. I share analytically how the YouTube video format impacts your viewers. See you in this video.